Okay class, for number 2, we are going to simplify. Alright, to simplify, so we are using the properties, alright, that we have learned from the previous lesson. Alright, okay, so I will show you B, right, look at the terms here class. So we need to combine the like terms together. First, I will look at the constant. So we have 18 over 3, so we are left with 6. Alright, okay, look at the next term. We have x class, x. So, we can combine the x term. So, it will be 2 minus 4 here. Alright, next, we are combining the y term. So, we have y to the power of 5 minus 1. Okay, so therefore, we are left with 6, x to the power of negative 2, y to the power of 4. Right, okay, look at C, for number C, so you have to know we are using the properties for number 9. We are using the 9 properties. Every each term in the column must be to the power of 2. Alright, so therefore, I should write 3 squared times x to the power of 5 squared. So therefore... I am left with 9, right? X to the power of 10. Right? Okay. Okay. Look at number 3, right? Okay. Uh, next time, you can try to do A class. Right? So, the lecturer will check in the tutorial class. Right? Okay. Look at number 3, right? To write the following expression in index form. I will show you C class. Right? So, this one, we have the cube root of the term. So, what we need to do is, is to take out the cube root. Right? So, we may write it as 27, 54 over 2. So, we have... 27 and then we are combining the x term so we are left with x cube right so to change the cube root right as a power so we can write it as 1 over 3 right the next step right you need to know every term in the column must be to the power of 1 over 3 so i need to write it as 27 to the power of 1 over 3 times x cubed to the power of 1 over 3 so remember class x cubed times 1 over 3 so we are left with x to the power of 1 okay 27 to the power of 1 over 3 is equivalent to the cube root of 27 which will give you 3 so we are left with 3x here Right, okay, so I need you to try to do 3a and 3b class. Right, okay, look at number 4 class. Right, okay, for number 4, right, I am going to show you C. Alright, so the decimal places can be written as a fraction, so 0 0.04 can also be written as 4 over 100. To the power of negative 3 over 2. Remember class, I need to eliminate this negative um, power. So, it will be 100 over 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Alright, so I am left with 25 to the power of 3 over 2. Alright, okay. By looking, alright, uh... Sorry, by looking at your fourth, sorry, the fifth property, so it can be written as the square root of 25 cubed. So, therefore, we can write it as the square root of 25 will give me 5, alright? 5 cubed is equivalent to 1, 2, 5. Right. Okay. So you can try to do. Uh, you can try to evaluate A and B without using your calculator. Right. So that's all for today. Thank you.